So if you do live in some heathen hinterland that is not the United States, I'm just kidding, please don't email me about that. You can go ahead and set up daylight saving time. Ooh, not savings time to the standards that you have locally and you could do that with the clock summertime recurring then set up the beginning and ending i'm not going to go through this go ahead and read this if you need to set up your daylight saving time all right so that's ntp this is going to be the basic lesson there will be three probably four more lessons on ntp that's going to go into some other more quote-unquote advanced aspects and uh, corner cases with ntp one of the things i did not touch on here is that you can run ntp with authentic that's one of the benefits of this. We touched on the different modes that you can run it in, but we only really went over the client mode. That's the mode you're going to probably use the vast majority of the time, but I will have lessons on the other modes. Uh, those are important, especially for people that are studying for the CCIE. These little corner cases and advanced features, it's good to know these going to the lab, even if you don't know them down cold, know where to find the documentation for them and also know that they exist and what they basically do. Anyways, let's get back to the summary here. So Cisco devices, have a software clock that tracks time and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have your time across your network be at the minimum synchronized across all devices but you prefer to have it accurate and synchronized now you can do that a number of different methods you can manually set all your devices not the best method uh, probably the best method is to use network time protocol because it's set up to do this and it's pretty easy as we saw in this lesson to set up. So if you remember your Jackson 5 song, NTP uses UDP on port 123 and it provides a time in UTC and Cisco uses version 3. So it all rhymes. It uses version 3 by default. There are four versions of NTP, the newest version being NTP version 4. NTP 3 is used by default on Cisco devices. NTP servers use a hierarchical stratum ranking as far as the accuracy of their servers with the lowest stratum being the most accurate. So the atomic clock or whatever the time source is is going to be stratum 0. The device directly connected to it is going to be stratum 1. The device that gets the time from that device is going to be stratum 2, stratum 3, stratum, stratum 4, and so on and so forth. So you can use NTP version 3 in three different modes on Cisco devices. It's going to be either client mode, which we went over here today, symmetric active mode, which we briefly discussed, but we'll be showing how to do that in a separate lesson, and then broadcast client mode, which again, we discussed that briefly what the 30,000 foot view of it is, and we will go over that in a separate lesson as well. We did look at client mode. It's the mode you're going to use the vast majority of times. It's ridiculous ridiculously simple to set up. Basically, you're going to want to find a public NTP server, and I showed you how to do that. Um, there's a website that's in the show note that will show you a plethora of different NTP public time servers, and then you're just going to go ahead and make your device into a client by simply pointing to one or more of those NTP servers with the NTP server global configuration command. I did go over how to configure one of your routers to act as an NTP server and you would only do that as a last resort if you don't have access to a public NTP server because basically you're trading an atomic clock for a Cisco router <laughs> and you know if you, accuracy is the key you're going to want to go with a public NTP server. Anyways that's going to wrap this up. I'm going to have a lab section on this lesson that will go through the configuration and show you this in action. Hope to see you in that lesson. As always, thank you for joining me in the Packet Lab, and I hope this helps you on your route to becoming a network god.